Imagine that your body was doing something in your best interest by giving you a mental flashback. Okay, so if it's trying to benefit you in some way by giving you a flashback, what is it trying to do? It's trying to call your attention back. That's what it needs in order to heal. It's basically saying, come on, come on, come on, pay attention, I'm unresolved. Help! But we don't just have mental flashbacks. In fact, most of us don't. In the moment of trauma, it's not just your consciousness that fragments in terms of personalities. It's your consciousness that fragments even in how it stores memory. So in the moment of trauma, the sight is stored separately from hearing, is stored separately from the feeling. That's the most common way that your being deals with distress that it cannot resolve, right? It puts all of these different aspects of the memory into little boxes. And some of those boxes are closer to the conscious mind. The box that tends to be the closest to the subconscious mind is feeling. How did that trauma feel? 